So we've already seen the logical AND operator in action. We know that we can use this to check multiple conditions. And if all of those conditions are true, we can use this to run a piece of code. Okay, so for example, with our if statements and our else statements together. But what happens if we only need one condition to be true out of many? So it could be true that one's true or two's true or many are true. So some can be true, at least one of them, and we wanna run something. Well, in this particular case, we're gonna to turn to the logical or operator in JavaScript. So really quickly, I'm just gonna to head to MDN and we see this page here for the logical and operator that we've already covered. Again, it's going to be true if and only if all of its operands are true, okay? But when you go to the logical or operator, okay, now it's gonna be true if and only if one, okay, the keyword there is one or more, okay, of its operands is true. Okay, so we come down here. I'm just gonna write this. So logical or operator. Okay, so this guy right here, if you're on a normal keyboard, so above the enter, okay, above the enter, hold down shift, and that's how you can display that character. So you need two of them. So what I'm gonna do here is start off with some variables. Let's do something like const. We're going to think about a scenario where we wanna go to a bike ride. If the temperature is between 60 and 90 inclusive, and it's not raining or it's not windy. Okay, so const, let's do current temp. I'm gonna set this to 85 for right now, so it's a good temperature. Const is raining, okay? I'm gonna set this to false, and I'm gonna do const is windy, and I'm gonna set this equal to false as well, okay? So for right now, it's not raining, it's not windy, and the current temperature is between 60 and 90 inclusive, okay? So we should be able to go for a bike ride. So I'll do something like if, I'll do current temp, Okay, and right now I'm gonna use the logical and operator just for reference. So I'm gonna put that it's greater than or equal to 60, okay? And current temp, okay, is less than or equal to 90. So let's pause for a moment, okay? First, we're gonna see is the current temp, which is 85, greater than or equal to 60? Yes, so this is true, okay? Then we'll think about is the current temp, which is 85, less than or equal to 90? Yes, so this is true as well, okay? Then we'll put and. So now I wanna know if the is raining is false and is the is windy false. Remember, you can do something like is raining, triple equals to false, or to make this quicker, okay? We haven't talked about the logical not operator yet, but we're getting to that here shortly. So just put an exclamation point in front, okay? That's gonna flip whatever you have. So it turns false into true and true into false. So in other words, because right now this is false, it will flip this into true. And because this is true, it's going to evaluate the true, right? So it's gonna be true. So then we'll do and, we we'll do the same thing here. I'm gonna put an exclamation point and then is windy, okay? And so if all these conditions are met, meaning the temperature is between 60 and 90 inclusive, okay? It's not raining and it's not windy. I wanna console.log a simple little message and say something like, it's a great day for a bike ride, okay? And you can put a little emoji in here if you want. So let's put a little emoji and I'm gonna type bike, okay? And then, I don't know, something like maybe you could do an exclamation point and something like that. Okay, so if we pop open the terminal and we run this guy, we get it's a great day for a bike ride. Okay, so that's all fine and dandy. We know about using an else statement, so we could do something like else. We could do console.log and we can say, ugh, it's not a good day for a bike ride. Okay, and I'll put a little emoji in here just saying that you're annoyed. So let's go to this one and I'll do my exclamation point and let's go ahead and see this. So you can change any of these. Remember the way this works, if any of these end up being false, the whole thing's gonna fail, okay? So if I change this to, let's say true now, okay? Again, when I look at the is raining, it's looking at this and this is flipping it. So right now it's true, so it's gonna flip it to false. And we'll talk more about this Again, coming up here shortly, but just think about the fact that if I had is raining triple equal to false, well now it's not false, it's true, so this is gonna fail, okay? So if we pop this back open and I run this, we get, oh, it's not a good day for a bike ride. Okay, now you could make a more specific message and we'll probably get to that in a moment. For right now, I wanna show you how to change this around and use the logical or operator. And let me just get rid of this all together, or actually I'll just leave it for now. I'm gonna flip the way this works. So in the inside of the if block, I'm going to say this message here. Okay, so let me cut this away. And let me paste this in and let me take this out. Okay, so let's take this out and let's put this in. 
And let's get rid of this. Okay, so let me come back up here. So now the way this is going to work, I'm going to ask if the current temperature is less than 59. Okay, so I want to know, is this true? Then I'm going to use the logical or operator, and I'm going to ask if the current temperature is greater than 90. Okay, then I'm going to use the logical or operator again, and I want to know if the is reigning variable is true now. Okay, so I'm removing the exclamation point. And then I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm going to use the logical or operator again, and I'm going to ask, is the is windy variable true? Okay, so let's think about how this works. First, it's going to look at this condition. Is the current temperature less than 59? Well, in this case, it's not. Okay, it's 85. 85 is not less than 59, but it doesn't matter because we're using the logical or operator, so it just moves on. So now, is the current temperature greater than 90? No, it isn't, right? It's 85. 85 is not greater than 90. Then it's going to ask, is the is raining variable, is that true? Well, in this case, it is, right? It's set to true, so it's raining. So at this point, this guy is going to return true, okay? And so we're going to get console.log. This statement's going to run this, oh, it's not a good day for a bike ride because it's raining. But if this was false, okay, it would continue down the path and it would look for is windy. So is windy, that's false. So because everything here is going to be false, this guy is going to get skipped over. It's going to return false. This guy gets skipped over and we'll get, it's a great day for a bike ride. So let's go ahead and see that real quick. Let's pop open the terminal clear this and let's run this we get it's a great day for a bike ride so that's another way that you could have done this now a lot of people will think about putting in something like a custom message so again we just saw that with our coding challenge let's go ahead and set this right here and say something like let my message is equal to this and I'm just going to remove this right here and we're going to just use some if statements and some string concatenation so I'm going to do something like if the current temperature okay let's say is less than 59. Well, then what I want to do is I want to go my message plus equals. Okay. I'm going to put a little space here and I'll just say it's too cold outside. Now, the next thing we'd want to do is make another little if statement. And I'm going to ask if the current temperature is greater than 90. Now, some people might want to use an else statement here, but that's not going to actually work out. Remember, if you're using an if and then an else, one of them's going to run. If you're just using an if statement, then it doesn't have to run. If something's not true in there, it's not going to run. So in this case, remember how we get inside of here. If something in here, any of these fails, right? So it's too cold or it's too hot or it's raining or it's windy, that's going to put me inside of here. But it's not necessarily true that it was either too hot or too cold. It could be 85 degrees, but raining, okay? So when we set this up, we don't want to do an else here, okay? Because that's going to run if the current temperature wasn't less than 59. Well, it could have been 85, and you're going to say something like, it's too hot, and that's not actually true, okay? So you want to stick to just ifs here. And we'll find better ways to do this as we move through the course. But I'm going to do something like my message, plus equals, and I'm going to do it's it's too hot outside, okay? So now I'm going to do another if statement, okay? And let me just get some room going. So I'm going to do another if statement, and I'm just going to do is windy, okay? If that's true, then I'll want to say something like my message plus equals, and I'll put it's too windy outside, okay? For example, and then let's do one more. So if we'll do is raining, okay? And we'll do my message, and we'll do plus equals, and we'll do it's raining outside, okay? So let's go ahead and now do a console.log statement. And what we're going to console.log is this my message variable, okay? So let's pause for a minute and think about what's gonna go on. So first and foremost, if something fails here, again, meaning the temperature's not right, or it's raining, or it's windy, it's gonna return true, okay? In this particular case, you need the temp to be less than 59, Okay, or for it to be greater than 90, or for it to be raining, or for it to be windy. Okay, those are the conditions where we're not going to take a bike ride. So again, we start by just declaring this variable, my message, and the first value is, oh, it's not a good day for a bike ride. Then we're going to add on to it based on what caused it to fail. So if the current temperature was less than 59, we're going to say it's too cold outside. Okay, then if the current temperature is greater than 90, we're going to say it's too hot outside. Now, only one of these could ever run, but you don't want an else there because again, if you do an if else, one of them's going to run and it might not have been the temperature that put you in this block. Okay. So you have to think about that. Then when you get down here, you're checking to see if it's windy. Again, you'd put it's too windy outside. Then here you would say, if it's raining, it's raining outside. Okay. So let's mess around with this for a moment. Let's put 
the is raining to true, okay, something like that, but it's still a good temperature, right? So let's pop open the terminal and let's run this. We get, oh, it's not a good day for a bike ride. It's raining outside, okay? So again, I just want to show you this so that it's crystal clear. If you put this to an else, okay, right now it's not too hot outside, but that's what's going to run, okay? So that's the error and we have an error here. So let me fix this. Oh, let me just put really quickly, let me delete this and let's pop this open and run this again. We get, oh, it's not a good day for a bike ride. It's too hot outside. It's raining outside, but it's not too hot outside. Okay. The temperature was fine. So let's go ahead and put this back. So just so you know what's going on, and then let's just mess around with this once more. Let's put the temperature to 55 and let's put is windy to true. Okay. I'll let you play around with this more on your own. Let's clear this and run this. We get, oh, it's not a good day for a bike ride. It's too cold outside. It's too windy outside. Okay. So I think we understand this at this point. And let's do one more example. I'll make it more simple because I know we're getting kind of long in the video. Basically, you can think about the fact that you live on the West Coast if you live in California, Oregon, or Washington. And some people might include Alaska or Hawaii in this. So let's just go ahead and say something like const current state. And my current state is California. So let's put that there. And then let's do a little if statement. We'll do the current state triple equals to, we'll do California or, okay, the current state triple equals to, let's do Oregon, okay, or the current state triple equals to, let's do Washington. And then let's throw Alaska and Hawaii in there also. So current state triple equals to Alaska and then or we'll do current state triple equals to, we have Hawaii, okay. For general purposes, let's just assume you can live in one state only. So basically it's gonna check to see if this is true, if this is true, if this is true, if this is true, if this is true. If any of those are true, okay, it could just be one of them, then it's gonna return true and this is gonna get run. So I'll say something like console.log, yay, you live on the West Coast with me, okay? And let's just go ahead and put actually a little emoji. And let's put a beach, okay, something like that. And then we can even put a little smiley face. So, or let's do sunglasses since it's cool. And let's go ahead and run this real quick. And so we get, yay, you live on the West Coast with me. Now let's do an else. And we'll make this really simple. So console.log, I'll just do something like, darn, you aren't out here with me. And then I'll just do a frowny face. So let's look for that. So I'll just do the annoyed one. How about that? Okay, so let's do that. And let's go ahead and change this. I'm gonna change the current state to something like Louisiana. And let's pop this open and clear this and run this. And we get, darn, you aren't out here with me. 